No more dress rehearsals. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. With the exhibition season officially in the rearview mirror, the UE women's soccer team makes the trip down to Cape Girardeau Thursday night to open up the 2018 campaign against Southeast Missouri State. Had a chance to catch up with head coach Krista McKendry as well as a couple of the players to get a sense of where the team is at as the 2018 campaign kicks off. Well, let's just talk about, I know we just talked uh, on Sunday, but you got a chance to look at the film a little bit. What did you see? Yeah, no, I, thought, I think we saw a lot of what we saw during the game. You know, our ability to move the ball uh, and spread them out was much better than it had been, uh, you know, but still some defensive lapses and just overall team shape defensively that we have to get sorted out. Where do you think this team is at coming out of the exhibition season? I think we're in a really good position this year. Our freshmen really stepped it up and they proved that they should be on this team and um, we had a freshman score this preseason so I'm excited about their position on the team and we don't seem to have much work that we have to do in order to compete against some of the bigger teams that we're going to play. Um, I think we're in a really good position. The first game it was kind of a, a wake like a a shock to us I think just coming out playing for the first time because we have so many incoming freshmen on the team so it's always difficult um, to have the new people mesh with the returners but I think we did pretty well with that and um, we're excited for our first game. We're excited obviously to get back on the road and, and, and try to compete that's the biggest thing obviously without having classes still we're all, all focused on soccer you know so to try to get you know some good results here this first opening weekend out of our way to calm the nerves and to get some excitement going I think is, is very key. Do you still get the opening night jitters? Um, Yes, of course. Every game, because you're nervous about performing, and now I'm competing with spots against freshmen who have proved their spot, so I just um, need to perform well in order to prove myself to my team and my coaches. Everybody has first game jitters, but for a freshman, where are they at for you? Um, I mean, I've been in a lot of tough positions in my soccer career. I went to States last year at my high school, so I'm used to playing in big um, nerve-wracking games. So I've been pretty good with it. During training camp, what do you, what do you kind of take into this first game of the uh, regular season? No, I think we're excited. You know, we've got a lot of young talent, um, you know, that we have promised. We've just got to go through some growing pains of just learning how to play with each other. Uh, and then, like I said, getting everybody on, up to speed with tactically what we're trying to do offensively and defensively. But we've got some very, very nice players. A lot of our returners have come back fit, ready to go. Uh, you know, so we're excited. I know that this is the first game of the season. What, if anything, do you know about SEMO State? Um, they're pretty tough competitors every year. They give us a fight. Um, it's just going to be down to who wants it more, I think. They're a very hard-hitting, very physical team. You know, I think they're going to get after They compete. You know, they challenge 50-50 balls. They tackle really well. You know, so for us, we've got to be able to bring that same momentum and energy, um, you know, that there is no such thing as a 50-50 ball. we got to go into it, and it's our ball. And I think if we can do that, it's going to help get us in the mood and obviously hopefully put them on the back foot. So the 2018 campaign kicks off in the Show Me State Thursday night as the Aces take on SEMO State. Kickoff is at 6.30, and of course you can follow the game on Twitter. Go to at UE Athletics WSOC. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Downs. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.